Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and this is a poem called Ice. I said, I am a charity trust trustee. Ought I stay on the board or leave it? He said, why live with clutter? Out of the corner of my eye, I looked round at his office. No papers, no books, no cabinets, just a laptop and a printer. Okay, I said, I agree. As he handed me the paper to sign, his eyes cut like a razor. He said, here are your POA forms. One is for power over health. The other for just about everything else. If you want, my wife and I can provide that service for you. His eyes looked clear like river ice early on in the winter. Okay, I said, I will sign them. His eyes turned blue like the midday sky as he handed me the papers. Here's a form, he said, that I always advise. It's important for your children. After three days, they pull the plug. It saves them from commotion. I said, I don't like that form at all. Look at me, I'm the picture of perfect health. And then, I have no children. His eyes glinted like sun on snow. He said, my advice is to sign it. He opened the door to show me out, then stopped for half a second. My wife, he said, does health massage. I said, may I have her number? She said, I can't see you at my job. They're fixing the floor in my office. I'll do the massage at our home instead. Her voice was like raspberry jam on toast. Why did that concern me? What day, I asked, with a frog in my throat. She said, I'll get back to you. Two weeks later, I found the place. She opened the door and let me in and showed me the massage table. Her hand touched the cloth in the way that a priest offers the Eucharist on Sunday. I don't disrobe for massage, I said. I hope you can work around that. Her lips froze, her eyes assessed. Her hip touched the edge of the table gently. Would that be okay, I asked. Okay, she said. Lie down here. This is a new technique, she said. You'll be the first to try it. And she explained cerebrally the ins and outs of the method. Then out of the blue, it seemed to me, she said, do you know Catherine? I have known her for years, she said, and I really like her. 
My eyes froze, then relaxed. Oh yeah, it's Catherine that's working back in town next door to this young lady. A hunch formed in the back of my mind, then disappeared before I could see more than a claw or the look on the face of it. A man in a hat that concealed his face walked in from the yard. As he cleared the lintel I saw, the door was still half open. His shadow lay like a long black line on the floor at the foot of the table. Who's that? I asked. Oh, she said, he's just a gawker from next door. You don't mind, do you? I said, yes, I do. The stranger stopped inching towards us. He turned round in the cool, dim room, felt for the door with his left hand and stumbled into the sunlight. My blood turned hot. My, my hands got cold. My heart got a speeding ticket. I sat up. My gosh, I have to go. Here, let me pay you.